All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and um, yeah, hope everyone had a good weekend. You know, it feels feels more like a mini vacation now. You know. So anyway, I thought I finished my book, had to take like a day off maybe, and then I went back into coding. So now I'm up to creating a level select for the game. Uh, so I'm gonna have a fun couple of days with that. Um, it was kind of interesting too, because there was a couple of solutions on the Unity asset sort, but I decided I'm just gonna make my own simply because the one that I kind of want to use has save functions, but the problem is I still don't understand it. I know I have to buy uh, easy save. From you know, let me show you actually Unity Easy Save. Um, I know I'm going to be buying this anyway because I need a way to do cloud saving, right? And I just don't want to like fiddle with all the stupid shit, right? So yeah, so this is the most important thing. Well, these three, cross-platform, fully documented, and cloud compatible, which usually means it's got fast and flexible and all that stuff. And this is fifty bucks. Yeah, this is like fifty dollars. And obviously, this thing has so many things. So I think like, like for me, I could still use. I think it should be simple enough that I can use it as a, like an easy thing because they have something specific for amateurs and experts. Obviously, this is where I start out the amateur level. When I want to do expert stuff, that's probably when I'm doing something like Dark Souls or Warcraft or Starcraft or basically any actual like double A, triple A game. So. Uh, Save and upload from the web, use save on uh, all platforms, blah, blah, blah. So basically, this thing has like fucking everything. So, yeah. So it's, it looks like it's going to be worth 50 to 50 bucks. So it's like, why do I want to use the pay extra money for something I can't even use? Plus, it's got a lot of cool features, but it's completely different from what I want. I just want something that's just, you just browse. And then it just has the level, and that's it. Uh, and of course, I'll have a picture of the level too. So before you click, you'll, you'll know what the map looks like. So you can decide if you want to play it or not. So I didn't do any research at all. I was actually playing my games, watching, I was listening to... I'm actually going to have a busy schedule today. I got I forgot to bring in my weights today, didn't I? Um, and of course, my sticky notes winds up on my second monitor, so now I can't see shit. Can't, can't see shit in this mist. And, oh, look at that. I can't even type in sticky notes. Oh my god, sticky notes is... I don't know what causes sticky notes to bug out so badly. So anyway, uh, you know, before I forget, because it's that important, I'm just got to lift my... I just got to leave it on the mat here, so... Uh, oh. The nice thing is it's getting a little... I don't know, can you see this? Yeah, you can see it. This thing's like, what, 75 pounds? I guess it's light by most men's standards, but you try lifting that shit 75 times, times four within an hour or an hour and 15. Let me see uh, how long, you know, your shit can last. Uh, all right, so anyway, let's just see uh, what's happened. All right, so Trump's still behind 20%. Uh, they did finally add, what's his name, Kanye West, which of course is all the way at the bottom. He really needs to, like, hurry the fuck up and, like, do his thing. All right, otherwise it's, it's over. Uh, so Evan Holdings Inc. is skyrocketing for some reason, even though crypto's not. Hmm. You know, I'm actually thinking, maybe I should actually buy a two-year call option on the... Oh, yeah, that's right, you can't, because this thing just came out. So I guess there are no options, right? Yeah, of course not. Um, damn, and options on this would be so fucking good right now. Ugh, it's it's so aggravating. Like, it, it, it's not let you like, get rich. It, you have to be like George Soros and loot and pillage the, the Western society to get your money. All right. Anyway, uh, nothing for this week. So Google's actually a little slow this week. Uh, so actually, crypto's actually neutral or down a little bit. So why the fuck is this thing going up? Uh, Bitcoin's at basically nineteen hundred bucks. Uh, Dalman sixty-two and a half, so that's good. Twenty-four volume, sixty-seven billion on a Tuesday. So yeah, looks like it's gonna be another light week then. Forty-three forty-four for Litecoin, Dogcoin, three ninety-seven point seven million market cap. So not too bad, not too bad. Uh, so markets are up today. Yeah, so everything's actually doing just fine. Uh, Rel's doing okay. Actually, there's a lot of people losing their jobs and shit. So. Uh, real estate's not going to re recover until hopefully after Trump gets reelected. Right, that's that's if he gets reelected. 
JP Morgan beats on earnings, Diamond warns on blah blah blah. Stocks slightly higher as bank earnings roll in. Well, yeah, I mean they're still gonna make they're still gonna keep their money. Temple University CFO sees consolidation in higher education. Yeah, especially if the America Firsters actually fucking defund this shit. So, uh, yeah, I mean they're 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 basically an anti-American um, it's a brat like. What is it? It's not even a brag, it's like the blob, as John Stossel would say. All right? There's just the anti-American left, far left-wing blob. Uh, blob. Uh, fastest growing, bonus cash, Moderna, coronavirus vaccine will get approved, clock in 5 billion orders in the next few, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I wonder how much money they spent on the research for this, though. Like how he's brought with Pfizer press apples. Uh... See a trend that's a P. Okay, this sounds like okay, that's just headlines. Tech Nasdaq sinks as tech stocks extend losses early Tuesday. Big bags kick off early. See why I want, I want to know if there's actually any reason for this. Uh, actually, while well, I'm still no, do I have to go to a different site? Well, market watch is all right. Uh, fine. Um, 18 days ago. I don't know. There's doesn't seem to be anything. JFC quotes at seven to eight. So the swap continues to uh, be in progress. Uh, Mitch is running into some things, um, but he did say that he also has a friend that's helping him out with the uh, help bug. So he wants to get that fixed and put it into four hundred four and uh, infinite ricks, and then he'll transfer the uh, fix over to JFC coin. So it's still going to be like another week or two. Hopefully we'll have some more progress for you. Uh, uh, well, it's going to be this weekend, so probably next Tuesday, right? When I plan to do my next videos. Uh, yeah, so not too bad, not too bad. Hmm. So I'm actually starting to get kind of tempted to buy some of these coins for cheap. 404 is at 330, 330. So five starting to go down slowly a little bit, but still really expensive. Uh, two by two holding very strong. It's still 69, 68 to like 71, 72. Uh, so, and then Rick's, uh, it's finally cratered to its correct price, which is, you know, low, like, I was actually able to get it at 143, but it looks like other people have stolen my idea, so now they're putting in orders here, too, so, but basically 143 to 163 is the range, you know, you probably can't go wrong with the 150s, though, and there's still a lot of demand for Rick's, it's still really expensive. All right, don't care, don't care, nothing new here. Uh, next, Bitcoin rally was set, no. Ethereum is beating Bit, no. Uh, Bitcoin struck, no. Grayscale shifts, DLC fund further into Bit, okay, and more crypto. DeFi, but I say Bitcoin, okay. Bitcoin price, but okay. So there's literally nothing here. Yeah, there's literally nothing here. It actually looks pretty attractive. Bitcoin, SV benefits between logistics and gambling. I don't know, who the hell is this lady? I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to click simply because I'm attracted to that pretty face. Bitcoin and crypto broker Coinbase prepared to launch its own token, hence co-founder Fred... Oh, shit. That's actually going to be news where they're going to create their own crypto. Yeah, this is definitely the future. Everyone just creates their own crypto. I already thought ahead of the time, just create my own after my own name, but... But its value is tied directly to you know who you are. Like you know, are you like for example, I'm a nobody, so it, it's just standard. But if I were like say Christian Bale or Brad Pitt, and we created like Brad Pitt coin or Christian Bale coin, and like they actually were promoting that shit, well, they might actually have some kind of use. Bitcoin crypto broker. Oh yeah, I already read that. Seven uh, crypto making huge. Okay, I don't think I could could call crypto. Okay, but. Mm, Let's see. So they're creating Ethereum 2.0, and there's some delays, of course. Yeah, coding is hard, so. Why not try to why Coinbase is selling crypto out software to the U.S.? Ugh. Yeah, well, see, see, Coinbase censors people, and they're working with the government, and they're helping them sell your fucking data so they can try. Like, this. Fuck, fuck Coinbase, seriously. I fucking hate Coinbase now. Um. Hmm. Let's see. You know what? We're. I'm not going to read this. I'm probably not going to really. I probably should read it. Oh, man. I guess we'll read it, but I mean, he's already on my shit list now. Like, it was already on the shit list, but now it's even worse. 
From crypto shares, goes very soon. Okay. Well, uh, this is missing more set now. Uh, crypto giant and Coinbase and Warrior kind of provide crypto item software at US Secret Service. Okay. So it looks like they're doing money laundering stuff. That's usually what they say. But of course, it'll be a. Di See, I don't use Coinbase anymore, even though I still have my account there. That's why I'm not using their shit. I mean, I don't do anything illegal, but I'm not giving them their fucking my, my fucking business. Censorship and working directly with the fucking U.S. government just to fuck people over some more, especially conservatives. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, oh yeah. So Rush V unfortunately got banned, super banned. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. This is so annoying. Um, Trouble the bio harvest and if it creates why opportunity for fraud. Uh, well, first of all, nobody gives a shit about the Constitution, so I don't know what, like, okay, those like, yeah, you're right, we don't care. <laughs> yeah, dear, uh, who's this? Dev? Like a coder? The US Vod killed Meander Red Dev. The US carries out its first federal execution in 17 years. Uh... I don't know who the fuck is this. Okay, I see a lot of furries, so it must be some rapist child pedo bear or something. Uh, okay, boo. All right, so he's going back to just. Oh my god. All right, well, Trump's just. Oh god, Trump's Trump is so frustrating. I'm like, I'm kind of curious. How many people are actually following my shit here? Where do I even see my profile? There we go. 13. Eh, not too bad. There. Uh, let's see. So we have a couple. All right. Uh, US, what are major cities doing? Uh, what's driving? Okay. After a while. Okay. Stop. After a while around Monday, investors have been bracing for an ugly second quarter. Already said parts data from okay. So far, it's been mixed, of course. So some banks are doing okay. Some are Wells Fargo doing shit. Uh, blah blah blah. The quarter update from the banking side comes as investors well think rounds are too far off. Okay, okay. I mean, maybe I would kind of understand this. I mean, things are improving, but they're just improving at a you know slow, steady uh, rate. You know, slow, steady progress. Right, I've been working on my game now for months. I don't even know how long. All right, I still kept my very first uh, Unity project, and that was from five months ago. So you know, and then this particular tower defense game, I've been working on it now for I guess a couple of months. Slow, steady progress, but it's coming along really nicely. I'm just not showing anything because I'm too lazy to hide the name because I still have to whatever. Oh, that's right. Oh my god, I got also god. I'm gonna have such a busy fucking day today. Uh, I have to actually commission the guy on Fiverr to create the logo for my uh, Marine did shit because I actually need to start copywriting something and send it to the office because that's gonna be a three month you know haul. U.S. debt toll stands at blah 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 stocks. Are da -da -da. Yeah, at this point they're just making bullshit up. Um, in fact, the leader of the corporate uprising actually talked about the rising cases in Florida and now they're trying to declare it a hot spot. Clearly, they're just trying to fuck Trump over because it's a swing state. Right, but yeah, nobody's really dying or whatever, right? And you know, we already know that you know if you have a pre-existing condition, you're let and you have coronavirus, then you're much more likely to die. But they classify that as a coronavirus death, so they're really hyperinflating this shit, right? But no one's really uh, like, I mean, I don't know too many people in Florida, you know, but so I go by what he's the leader says, but not too many people living in Florida have any problems with coronavirus, right? That's not from a personal standpoint. So, are people far, uh, dying from it? Uh, probably. I mean, there's like, what? How many people live in Florida? How many people live in Florida? Like, what? It must be millions. Right? Tw uh, a little less than 21. So, 21.5 million as of 2019. So, yeah, you're going to find a couple people out of like 21.5 million. They're going to like jack up that fucking number. Uh, pull back. Nasdaq is overvalued, so there's so there's okay, so I don't have to read this. So there's literally no reason for it. People are just like, yeah, you know, just nothing new. So people are just being impatient and just doing whatever. Uh, with that being said, the markets are up. So okay, so they're just readjusting Nasdaq. 
But yeah, overall, the markets itself are doing just fine as we recover. Uh, all right, so let's do with the nice news first. Coinbase is planning to launch its own shit. Um, wait, so a new interview, Fortune Series just says the news that the high profile Bitcoin shares prepared for a listing on the stock is not surprising. Uh, okay, so they're doing it. So Coinbase is going public and they're also doing an uh, ICO too. So I think it'll be where's first Cabo ICO IPO, which could be super cool. Yeah, as much as I don't like fucking Coinbase and they're on my shit list, at least they are doing very nice, cool things. So I guess maybe to be fair, you could argue they're just get they're, they're getting along just to do along, right? So that's why we are in here, blah blah blah. An IPO and an ICO will likely post some regulatory challenges to Coinbase. Yeah, trust me. Oh, so that's why. Okay, now I understand. Brian Armstrong is probably trading the IPO ICO, which is what he really wants, in exchange for just helping the US government fuck people over more. He's going through the Secret Service, apparently. Okay. All right, now I understand what's going on. All right. And in a way, I mean, the government's going to do it anyway, so I guess Brian Armstrong figures, you know what? I'll take the hate now, I'll take the pain, I'll take it up the ass. I get the benefit from it, from uh, and then I get there first because so because if I don't do it, some other asshole with what the U.S. government's going to do it for them. So yeah, because the U.S. government they're going to be able to track all crypto anyway. So you know, well, except maybe the old the, like the lower the lower market cap coins. You can obviously see them trying to put the plug a lot of get kind of blessing for this Main Street crypto. Coinbase we're probably looking to become the first crypto chain to go public as early as this year. So Coinbase wants to go public this year with an IPO ICO. Okay. All right. So Brian Armstrong wants to blah blah. blah. A series of tweet R says oh, he needs to recoup solid defraud. He believes working law enforcement straight to crypto. Okay. So he's going with the. This is really expensive. So there's a lot that can be better by existing ML. We didn't create them, but these are those are rules to operate a fiat to crypto exchange legally. That is actually true. You know, he is required to track everybody. Uh, at least from his end, but to help the U.S. government do it on a global scale, like you're kill, you're killing the decentralization aspect of Bitcoin, and really all of our cryptos, right? We're because this is decentralized-ish, right? I mean, we're a small community, so it lives or breathes based on whether you know Mitch and I, Mitch and I are still working on these coins, right? But eventually, if everyone starts using it, then we we're we're, we're no longer really a part of the uh, equation. With this very acquisition, excuse me, in the early days, Coinbase started off by using some of the existing blockchain analytics services out there. It was okay, but but the issue with it was that we don't like sharing data with third parties when we can avoid it. Yeah, what a fucking hypocritical f word. Now they didn't support all the features. Chain. Uh, he's gonna complain about third parties sharing data, and he's gonna go right ahead and help the U.S. government. Uh, just track down everyone's day. Like, fuck you, dude. Um, I be, I'm beginning to suspect he's definitely not a Christian. I think I know what his religion is. I mean, I can't say much more than that, especially now that Rushvi just got fucking banned. We did this via an acquisition. Uh, but well, we were able to rebuild the team and then take out some team members. So probably they were idiots, or maybe they had objections to what Brian Armstrong was doing. And set up this functionality in house. Uh, Try to buy so I never out there. We had quite often feel so what caught the bill, and that's why we maintain a relationship with both the traditional finance world and the new crypto world because we act as a bridge between the two. It's good, uh, but it's more of a part of to keep that flow of crypto. That's the only way we're gonna get the true crypto crypto, which is all da, da, da. okay. So he does at least admit that he's sandwiched in the middle and he just wants the money, which is you know fair. That is actually fair, but I mean, I really don't like that, like, really. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If people want you to uh, ask what privacy coins are for, if that privacy coins like the internet, uh, it will be certain to how the internet moved from HTTP to HTTPS over time. Yeah, that is true. Even this site's on HTTPS. But I mean, it doesn't matter because because everything's still centralized. Because this because coding and programming is so fucking difficult. Very few people can do it, right? I was able to teach myself game programming, right? It's still pretty hard, but at least it's, to me it's doable, right? You know, it's like me trying to lift this fucking weight, you know? Like I actually slapped on extra five pound weights on each side, an extra 10 pounds. It's already so much harder for me to do, but I, like, 
When I first started several months ago, like I couldn't lift it. It was like it's just too hard. Now when I do the same thing, yeah, now I can lift it. Right? It's still hard, but it's doable. So what does that mean? That means there's a very small there's just by just just by nature, the law of nature or whatever, right? There's just very few people that can do this. So there's already an elite group uh, of coders. Right, and you know, we, you know the most famous example is Silicon Valley. So of course they have centralized power and everything. So, but the good news is at least fundamentally, yes, things are decentralized. But it's really going to be the apps like and regulations that are going to need to be worked on going forward. But now that the uh, globalists are have started true first blood and they actually hid that, and you know, they've got the race war start, and you know, we'll just have to see how uh, things go. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, uh, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so continue growing this channel. So basically, it was just nothing new. All right, uh, Evans going up for some reason. I have no idea why, but there isn't too many real news. But I guess we'll find out eventually. Uh, Brian Armstrong is, I didn't know he's coming out with his IPO ICO and he's targeting this year. So that's why he's uh, handing more shit to the American government, like to sweeten, sweeten the deal. All right, go along, you get along. Uh, you know, can't say I'm thrilled. In fact, I really don't like it, but at least it is more understandable. It's still not going to do business with Coinbase because that's not the kind of shit I want to be fucking supporting. All right, you know, as a Christian, I'm not that obsessed with money anymore, so... Uh, and that's of course that's my Haiti star. All right. Um, well, I'm not obsessed with money when it really comes down to like, yeah, okay, yeah, this is gonna damage America. This is gonna damage uh, Western American society. Okay, it's like, okay, yeah, you know, like there are limits. There are limits to how much value I place on money. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it was just nothing new. So I didn't even have to do a video today. But I mean, I'm gonna stick to like three days a week. See how that goes. Because I still would like to do some kind of content, just not just not as much. Especially since I know I'm not getting anything out of this shit, you know. I mean, Parler's inflating most of these numbers, at least, but, you know, yeah. So anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Um, again, nothing new. Uh, it's just chugging along. Uh, with that being said, hopefully we'll have an update on JMC coin swap next week. So you still have some time. You still have some time. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin. I am getting so hungry, and I need to start working on my game today, too. So, yeah.